Hola amigos, and for those that don't speak Spanish, that means hello friends. Today on the show we are going to be making homemade, authentic guacamole. And here's what you'll need. Okay, moving on. Let's make some guacamole. Alright, let's start with some avocados. The best way to know if they're any good is that you want to be able to slightly dent them. They don't want to be too hard or else they're not ripe. Alright, so you're going to take a sharp knife and you're going to cut down the middle like so. There's a really large seed in there, so just cut until you feel the knife stop because you're just going to take that all the way around. Pull the pieces apart like so. You're going to get your hands dirty. All right. That one didn't come apart as I would have liked, but that's okay. All right. A spoon would help. Get out all the middle. Put that aside. You won't need that. It's garbage now. You don't need the seed. If you want to grow your own avocados, you keep that, stick it in some water with some toothpicks. That's another lesson for another day, but you know, you could keep that if you want to grow more. Since I'm making a lot of guacamole today, I'm going to use two avocados. Oh, that was much better. Delicious. All right, you got to take out that one. The texture of an avocado is very soft when ripe. If you can't slide the spoon in there, then your avocado is not ripe. It's not ready. Avocados are awesome. They're delicious. It's a superfood. Heart healthy. Next, I'm going to use some salt to taste. If you like things to be a little more salty, add more. I'm going to do about a fourth of a tisp. I'm going to do the same for some black pepper. Got a little stuck. Some recipes call for onion and cilantro, but I'm not a big onion fan, so I'm going to skip the onion in mine today. Onto the lime. Now, I have found myself where I have an avocado and I want to make this recipe, and I don't have a lime. I've used lemon juice in the past, and it turns out just as good. Some people prefer one or the other, but quite honestly, they both taste really good. Um, I think the more traditional recipe is going to be the lime, though, so. All right, and we're going to let all that good juice fly. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think I soaked the cameraman. <laughs> All right, now smash the heck out of it. It's all in the wrist, ladies and gentlemen. Go down, bring it up, tap it. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you all. I don't know what this thing is called. I use it to mash potatoes, and I also use it to make this fabulous guacamole. So if any of you awesome viewers out there know the correct term, feel free to leave it in the comments. <laughs> All right, I've got it to the consistency that I want it. It's time to taste. Man, where's a chip when you need one? <gasps> Great idea. Mmm. Now that's guacamole. 
Hey amigos, thanks for watching my recipe for how to make authentic, authentic Mexican guacamole. Be sure to subscribe, I make new videos every Wednesday.